Hi, my name is Gil Haberman and I lead product marketing for VMware's BCDR products. I'd like to tell you about the latest changes we're introducing around disaster recovery at VMware. In this video, I will tell you about DR to the cloud, the latest improvements to Site Recovery Manager, and licensing and packaging updates for both enterprises and SMBs. Our new DR to the cloud services enable organizations with only one site or limited failover capacity to benefit from robust disaster protection. Leading edge cloud service providers now offer a variety of DR to the cloud services, leveraging SRM for failover automation and testing, and vSphere application for cost efficient replication across sites. These services enable organizations to have DR protection without the upfront cost associated with building a new site or increasing failover capacity. Now let's discuss the latest changes we made in SRM 5.1 that aim to continue simplifying setup and management of DR plans and improving the automation and reliability of DR capabilities. First, vSphere application is now bundled with most editions of vSphere eliminating the requirement to pay for expensive storage replication licenses. Setting up replication is now much simpler since vSphere replication supports heterogeneous storage across sites. And ongoing management of vSphere replication is much simpler than storage-based replication because replication is done at the VM level, removing the need for complex mapping of VMs to replicated LUNs. It also eliminates the ongoing back and forth between vSphere admins and storage admins, since replication can now be managed directly from vCenter. Now, as a reminder, with Site Recovery Manager 5, we introduced two popular features, automated failback and planned migration. Automated failback enables bi-directional recovery, and so VMs can automatically be migrated back to the original site. With this capability, applications can move back and forth between sites automatically without having to set up new recovery plan for each step. The plan migration capability enables clean site migrations of virtual machines in an application consistent state with zero data loss. Production VMs are shut down gracefully and replication can be completed prior to initiating the migration process. Starting with SRM 5.1, Automated failback works when using vSphere replication, which wasn't the case in our previous release. Also, vSphere replication provides application consistency for Windows environments, resulting in smoother recovery and migration processes between sites. Okay, now let's discuss SRM licensing. We continue to sell SRM on a per VM basis and in two editions. SRM standard, which is designed for smaller environments with up to 75 protected virtual machines, and SRM enterprise, which is designed for larger environments with more than 75 protected VMs. With this release, we begin supporting vSphere Essentials Plus, so smaller organizations can purchase SRM and move towards reliable disaster protection for their sites. In addition, SRM is part of the vCloud Suite Enterprise, which is licensed per processor and provides entitlement to protect unlimited number of virtual machines running on the licensed processor. Please come back often to VMware Now for news and updates on the latest VMware solutions and products. And for in-depth information on all VMware offerings and services, visit vmware.com. Thank you for watching.